You just gotta understand, it's just not playing basketball on Monday and Thursday night. It's bigger than basketball. When we have opportunity to give kids an inspiration and encouragement, they come out to see us each and every day and uh, to see us play the game of life. And just, uh, I want my kids to understand and see how blessed they are and just at any given time, your situation can change. But, but to see this young man to bounce back like he has, you can tell that God is able. So that just makes me understand when you got God on your side, your condition don't have to be your conclusion yeah. as long as you just trust God. Um, this whole situation come about, uh, my baby got hit by a car all first, I mean, I'm sorry, April 1st of 2016, he got hit by a car in Fry's Point, Mississippi. Um, I got a call from work saying that Bill was airlifted from Fry's Point to Lebanon Children Hospital, and when I made it there, then he all of me was in a coma. He was in a coma for three weeks. After the three weeks, we stayed in Lebanon like 10 months. After the 10 months of the bond, they automatically transferred us to Baptist Children's Hospital of Rehabilitation in Jackson, Mississippi. We did like 10 months there, but it was the great and the wonderful 10 months because he's learned how to walk, he's learned how to talk, he learned how to use the bathroom on his own, he learned how to swallow, chew. It's just so much process that he did that uh, in 2000, and, uh, say 17, he supposed to be got released from rehabilitation did what this September I think he came home in July like his mom told me everything he's gone through and I just think it's a blessing his attitude is still the way it is yeah. still he'll, he'll encourage and inspire a lot of people here at CCC, we just try to do things that's bigger than basketball, try to teach kids about life that's bigger than basketball. And I think that's just a great thing that we're doing, just trying to encourage the young man. But actually, he thinks we encourage him, he actually encourages us to keep on doing what we're doing because your gift will make room for it. God already blessed all these guys with the gift. So therefore, the gift is not for you, it's just for the receiver. So I think this opportunity yeah. to give back to the community. Yeah. To me today, I believe is like one of his best assignments since he's been at the hospital. Like all the basketball players, they show him love. They out there dancing with him. They gave him jerseys. They gave him basketballs with signatures on them, autograph. It just really excites him. He like he just you can tell from his face he just cheesy. Actually, he's gonna be the number one fan. You know, everybody needs a six man. So I'm, right now we're just saying that he's our six man uh, of the year. I think we just need those type of fans here.